Hello again everyone and welcome to another Boosted Films tutorial. Today we're actually going to go over removing the front bumper off of uh, Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution 8 or 9 but we're also covering headlight removal and changing of an HID headlight bulb because you have to remove the front bumper in order to change an HID bulb. If you have a bad bulb or a bad ballast you're going to see how to change that as well. As always, perform anything you see in this video at your own risk. Um, if you're not confident in your own abilities, just pay someone else to do it. So, basically what we have here is an EVO 8 with an EVO 9 front bumper on it. And I'm going to disappear. Alright, so we're zooming in on the first uh, couple bolts that we're going to remove here. As you can see, there are two bolts holding the bumper on. And then there are two other clips uh, that I'm going to get at here that actually ended up breaking for me. So hopefully you have better luck than I did. But then there are these two clips um, in the center that were inside of where the two screws bolted on. And next I'm going to show you some of the hidden bolts. Basically they're a little bit hidden. There's just uh, some holes to access them. And this is the one on the passenger side that you can see there's a hole there. You can ignore the paint. Uh, coming off the bumper and then there's also that same bolt on the other side and if you have a license plate um, holder in the way you might have to remove that as well and also if you have any under tray uh, still in your car you're gonna have to remove all that if you have the factory plastic under tray you're gonna have to remove that as well I didn't have that uh, to remove so I didn't show that and the next bolt there are two bolts on each side that you can see in the wheel well here I'm gonna point this one out um, and you can kind of see in there, I know it's kind of dark and hard to see, but there's a bolt that goes uh, straight up and down on each side that you're going to have to remove. And we're actually going to start on the driver's side. And this bolt was actually a pain for me to remove uh, because the clip that holds it in place ended up spinning and not holding like it should. And as you can see, this bolt didn't like me very much, so this took a while. So what I ended up doing here was pushing a screwdriver in there to keep the clip from spinning uh, while I remove the bolt uh, that the clip threaded into and now you can see the clip that holds the bolt in place uh, so basically once you remove that bolt and there's another plastic uh, kind of bolt in there that you need to remove uh, you should be able to pull it side down and loosen it up and now we are actually back on the passenger side, removing the same bolt that we just removed from the driver's side. So we got that one out, that one went a lot easier. And then just below that, there was uh, this other bolt holding the, the plastic guard in to the front bumper. And here's a little trick for you, if you ever dealt with these before, you know that the threads on these a lot of times don't do anything. You try to screw them out and they don't screw out. Well, Basically, if you can get a screwdriver behind it and put a little pressure on it um, and then try screwing it again like I am here, that uh, helps a lot. Then it'll actually screw out and then you should be able to uh, pull it out. So next we should be able to pull this side down and pull it loose. It might take a little bit of force, but you should be able to pull it loose. And then after that, we should have all of our bolts removed that are holding it in. Except, again, if you have an under tray, you'll have to remove any bolts going uh, from the under tray to the front bumper, and you'll probably have to remove your under tray completely. Expose our headlights and our intercooler and all that stuff. So, if all you had to do was remove your front bumper for some odd reason, um, I guess this video is done for you. But, if you had any headlight problems, uh, this is where we continue on. You can see that there are two bolts uh, holding the headlight on up top, underneath, uh, where the, underneath the hood, and then there are actually two other bolts holding the light on. There's one to the inside that I'm removing here and there's one that I actually forgot to get on film but there's one by the wheel well again kind of right in front of the tire there's a, a fourth one. So once you remove those four bolts and then unplug uh, the connectors going to the back of the headlight you should be able to pull your headlight out And then this is basically the back view of what your headlight will look like. Show you how to access the HID bulbs. 
basically there's one screw that we're going to remove here and then after we remove that screw this cap should uh, twist uh, counterclockwise and then it should be able to pop off and it'll expose your HID bulb so once we remove uh, the connection here there are two screws that hold the clip in basically that holds the bulb down so we're going to move that clip You could see it for a quick second there. And here's our bad bulb. So this is what we needed to change. And just in case you had a bad ballast, this is the piece I'm removing now is the ballast. And these rarely fail if they're the original Mitsubishi ones. But if you have aftermarket kit, you may need to change your ballast or something like that. Uh, so this is just showing how to remove the ballast in case uh, your ballast is bad. And basically install would be obviously doing everything in reverse order here. So it's actually not the best design since you have to remove your entire front bumper just to change a headlight but if you have the HID headlights uh, you will not be able to change your bulb without taking off your front bumper and taking out your headlight thanks for watching everyone just a reminder this has been another tutorial from boostedfilms.com and if you want to support our cause please subscribe to our YouTube channel or like us on Facebook or tell your friends shoot them an email shoot them a text shoot them a Beeper page, I don't know.